Feldman is a Holocaust survivor. She and her Czechoslovakian family had been sent to live in an attic in the Jewish ghetto in Prague, but they were captured and sent to the death camps at Auschwitz and then Dachau. She alone survived. Today she lives in her 14th floor apartment in Paris, where I met her several times for the production of this movie about Jacques Semelin. And the coronavirus has forced her to live a pretty isolated life. She has no visitors, her groceries are delivered. She only goes outside, obviously, with her mask for very short walks, and then her family checks on her, but from a distance. But she recognizes the familiar feeling, as she says, creeping under the door. The sense of death is all around once again. As she told me, it had a very eerie echo to her past. People dying, it's a bad situation. But, as she said, this is not the Holocaust. If you're tempted, as some have on social media, to compare your coronavirus quarantine to Anne Frank hiding in an attic for years during World War II, well, just stop. Holocaust survivors will tell you, you've got your television, your cell phones, plenty of food, and the ability to go outside. No one is trying to kill you. No one is selecting you for death because of your religion. The coronavirus is taking lives, but it's not the Nazis. There is no evil here, only tragedy. There's just no way you can compare the Holocaust to this. Six million Jews were killed. You cannot compare coronavirus to that. But I've continued to interview many of these Holocaust survivors who have a unique perspective on the current crisis. Most are in their 80s and 90s, an age group that is considered to be the most vulnerable to COVID-19. And what's funny is several of them have been organizing or been involved in Zoom meetings, talking about how to survive, how to be resilient in our times. And they compare and talk about and share their Holocaust stories, giving people advice on crises. It's been, I'll say, the most illuminating chats I've had in the production of this film. No, there is no comparison to the current pandemic. I understand that. But this is not the Olympic of suffering. But these survivors are role models for us, role models for resilience. They are role models for how you start all over again. Because Holocaust survivors know something about mourning loved ones when you can't say goodbye in person or attend a funeral. They know something about rebuilding your life when the economy is in shambles and all your money is gone. And they know something about holding on to hope when all seems lost. The conversations I have had with many of them put so much of this into perspective. Yeah, there are many inconveniences, but nobody has to worry about somebody knocking on the door to take you away. No one wanted this virus to happen. This coronavirus is an act of nature, and everyone really is involved on an equal basis. The Holocaust was a deliberate act.